joined by Iggy Tan, Managing Director of Alltech Chemicals. Iggy, thanks for your time. Morning, David. How are you? Can you tell me a little bit about Alltech and its business? Well, Alltech is an Australian listed company and we are proposing to build a 4,000 tonne per annum high purity alumina plant. So high purity as in 99.99%. So it's a high purity material. And high purity alumina is actually used to make uh, synthetic sapphire. Now synthetic sapphire is very popular with the uh, LED industry. So that's the substrate that uh, is the building block of the LED industry. It's also used for smartphones, for uh, unscratchable screens, uh, but also recently uh, used in lithium batteries because the uh, lithium battery is uh, catching fire and what actually is combustible is the plastic separators in the lithium battery. So a lot of customers are now demanding that separators be fire retardant and high purity alumina is used as a fire retardant in these batteries. So very exciting growth uh, in the uh, electronic sector that's driving this demand. And how advanced are your operations towards that end goal? Uh, we, we're quite an advanced project. Uh, we have uh, recently signed up offtake with Mitsubishi, so Mitsubishi will buy 10 years of uh, production. Uh, we are in the uh, debt funding stage, so we are working with a German bank called KFW IPEX Bank, and we're targeting about 70 million uh, debt from, from the bank, uh, of which 60 million is uh, export credit finance. So what that means is that uh, it's actually underwritten by the German government and with export credit it supports the exporters of, of Germany because 60% of our plant actually comes from German suppliers. Now with export credit finance is very low interest rate long tenure so uh, we, we're a quite advanced project. And where are you proposing to build the facility and what was the reason for the choice of that location? So we've decided to build the chemical factory, the downstream processing in Johor, Malaysia. Now a couple of reasons for that. Uh, we need uh, a lower cost base, so uh, Malaysia represents a much lower cost base. It's got two international sea container ports, so we need to uh, transport our kaolin in and our product out. And also, um, we also attract uh, quite good government incentives, so, uh, and that, that's some of the reasons why we, uh, we picked Malaysia. And so at present you control your own deposits that will feed stock into yeah. your proposed plant? Yeah. So our process is a disruptive process because the current producers of high purity alumina actually use aluminium metal as their feedstock. So it's a very expensive feedstock. What we're doing is basically bypassing the aluminium metal stage. We're using it straight from the ore to the four nines high purity alumina in one single step. And the reason we can do this is because the deposit is a kaolin deposit. As you know, kaolin is a white clay. It's used for whitening of ceramics and paper and so on. Uh, and, and it's got very low impurity. So the process we use is a hydrochloric acid process and it's able to extract the alumina, purify it to four nines and uh, produce a product that sells for $23,000 US a tonne. So it's a high value, high margin product. And in terms of recent successes and milestones that investors should be looking at? Well, we, we've uh, ticked a lot, a lot of boxes as we, we've gone. Uh, basically, the uh, due diligence process of the banks has gone uh, very well. Uh, we've appointed consultants uh, to look at the whole uh, project. All the consultants have come back with a, a no fatal flaw uh, conclusion. Uh, we continue to work with the banks to finalise that uh, due diligence and then eventually submit the, uh, the proposal to the, uh, the German government through the, 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 the regulating bo body, which is Ule Hermes, uh, for the export credit uh, finance. Meanwhile, we, uh, in the period we've uh, announced a uh, new mineral resource for Meckering, which is around 12.7 million tonnes. That's nearly 250 year mine life. Uh, and also a uh, ore reserve of 1.2 million tonnes. So that's the first 30 years of the, the mine has now been uh, um, uh, sorted out. We are in the process of submitting our mining proposal uh, and in Johor we are started the process of uh, permitting. So looking forward, what should investors be focusing on? Well, we, we'll continue to uh, tick the boxes as we go. Uh, 
Uh, we hope that we should finalise the debt term sheet by quarter one next year. Uh, and then we would then look at um, the, um, the construction in quarter two next year. We, we're looking at a construction phase of 18 months uh, and hopefully we would have some product out in 2019. So very exciting um, developments and uh, uh, exciting growth plans. Iggy, thanks for your time. Thank you.